Hello YouTube, welcome to my 8th video in the uh, Logic Gate series and today I'll be showing you the T flip flop. Um, this is a lot more complicated than the, uh, the last few Logic Gates and what is, what it, what is the function of uh, a T flip flop is it turns a button into a lever. So if I, uh, if I just show you this with a door uh, now I'll do it with this turn actually. Okay. At the moment that piston is on. If I flip the button, that piston will turn off. Normally a button would just provide an output for a short period of time. So that would go on and then off. But using this, it will stay on, uh, it will stay off until you press it again. Now it's on, press it again, it's off. Uh, the way this works is by using the RS null act, which I showed you in a previous video, which is uh, this 3x3 three three block here, to save the input. And then if you just, uh, this bit's on at the moment, press it again, and it changes, so this is on. Um, it's split up into three parts, really. This L-shaped bit and this bit here, there's one part, this is a signal shortener, so if you uh, just watch this bit here, it will flash briefly off, and again, so that's the signal shortener, and then you've got the RS null latch, and four inverters, which together make the T flip flop. Okay, I'll show you how to build one now. Start by building an L, with two spaces, and then two blocks. Then put a torch on here, and a torch on here. A torch on here, and a torch on here. Connect these with redstone, and then join them up. And that is your signal shortener, with your input here. Is that working? That's not working, why isn't it working? Oops, that's why. I uh, forgot the best and I always forget that bit. Okay, there we go. Now, just turn off the rain. Next thing you need to do is take this out one and up one. Take this up one. Then place, uh, sorry, there. Place an inverter going this way and this way. Just like so. And then take this up three and across one, place a block, across three more, place another block, torch on here, torch on here, and then connect these like so. Now we can build the RS null latch which fits in here, I think, yep. connect them together like so and then you can place your final um, final inverter here and place a piece of redstone now this should work it's on at the moment if I press the button uh, down and place a piece of redstone there where is it? Something Oh, gosh. oh, I have a habit of doing these wrong. Okay, there you go, it's working now. As you can see, press the button, it's off, and it'll be constantly off until you press it again. So that is how the T flip flop works. Um, sorry for building it wrong. Um, please watch my next video, which will be going over piston T flip flop, which is so much more compact. See ya. Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment and subscribe.